What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm joined by Tyler, and we're here for an Avengers Infinity War discussion. We're going to be talking about one of the main aspects of Infinity War and also connecting it to Avengers 4. And we're going to be talking about why we believe Tony Stark, Iron Man, will beat Thanos in Avengers 4. So mainly why it's going to be because of Tony that this happens. Um, so this is major spoiler territory. We're going to talk about uh, basically the ending of Avengers Infinity War, talk about what happened, why it happened, and ultimately how it connects to Avengers 4 and why we believe that you know Tony is the most essential part of it. Um, so again, spoilers. If you have not watched Infinity War, you do not want to be watching this video. You also don't want to be watching our future videos. We're going to have a video tomorrow as well as Monday talking about more spoiler things regarding Avengers Infinity War and also the next Avengers movie. So Tyler, towards the end of the movie, we had the obvious uh, encounter where Doctor Strange gave Thanos the Time Stone. So what do we think about Doctor Strange, the Time Stone, what Doctor Strange said right before he died and how it connects to Tony Stark in Avengers 4? So Doctor Strange says, as soon as so, after he gives it the Time Stone to Thanos, um, he actually stops Thanos from killing Tony Stark and says, like, wait, you know, spare his life, blah, blah, blah. So he gives up the time stone, um, and Tony's kind of like, why did you do that? And he says it was the only way, and then he says we're in the end game now. But Doctor Strange gives this, like, kind of long, like, gaze, kind of, and as soon as that happened is when I realized that it's Tony Stark. Tony Stark needs to live in order for that one possibility out of the however many million that there was, for that one possibility of them to win, or the one timeline really for them to win. Tony Stark has to be alive, which to me means that Tony Stark is the one that will defeat Thanos. Either in, you know, it doesn't have to mean combat. He just has to, you know, like outsmart him and all that stuff plan wise. Um, but by Doctor Strange giving up the Time Stone and then saying we're in the endgame now, that means to me that when he made that you know, sacrifice of the Time Stone, that that allowed our heroes to enter that timeline of that win, that, that one specific timeline. Um, so that's how it kind of connects to, from, from the Doctor Strange angle to Tony Stark. And then the other thing I'll say really quick is how the basically the whole movie, how Doctor Strange basically said it doesn't matter if you're in trouble to Tony Stark, the kid, meaning Peter, or whoever, he's going to do anything he has to do to protect the Time Stone because that's like his duty. Um, so for him to just all of a sudden give up the Time Stone, obviously that means that that's a, a, a factor, obviously, in how they, how they survive, how they win. Now, the connection that is made by Thanos himself to Tony Stark, which this part's important because it kind of shows how they're almost equals in a way, is Thanos, right before um, that little final fight that he has with Tony Stark, says to Tony Stark that they, um, they're they both visionaries. He's like, you're a visionary like me or something like that. So what that means is that Tony Stark, like Thanos, is able to kind of see where things are going or whatever, and he's able to, you know, act on it or act on will or whatever. So the fact that that connection was made, to me, makes Tony Stark the basically equal yet opposite mm -hmm. equal to um, Thanos. Then the other thing real quick to, I guess, note, like this part doesn't really matter, but it kind of sort of does, is that... Um, Tony Stark, Iron Man, whatever, that character is the one that started this whole 10-year period, this whole, like, you know, phase one to the end of this. I believe this is the end of phase three because phase four will start after Avengers 4. Um, so he is the one who kind of started all of this. So it kind of makes sense for him to also end all of it. Um, and... Just like they talked about in the in the Infinity War movie, how um, Tony Stark keeps, you know, how he'd have the dreams or the visions or whatever, like how he would, he knew that this was coming. He saw the heroes basically die, and he would he'd be the only one surviving, um, and there was nothing he could do to stop it. But I'm pretty sure if he can put his mind to it, especially with the threat right there, and just happened with Peter and Strange and all these other people dying right in front of him that he just met. 
and then eventually he's going to come back to Earth, I assume, uh, with Nebula on her ship. Uh, once he finds out that, obviously, well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he figured it out. But once he realizes that, like, all of his friends are gone, maybe Pepper's gone. Um, so, you know, once he realizes that, and it sits in or sets in, that Thanos wiped out half of the universe, I think that'll be a good enough motivation to kind of get over the, you know, I don't know what to do to stop him. I think we'll start to get into, like, you know what? Maybe he'll say, we're going to make our own Infinity Stones or something like that. Maybe maybe he can replicate it. Because don't forget, that is possible. Because if if he can find a way to basically create time travel, that's time. Uh, he is also very smart, along with uh, Bruce Banner, where maybe they can come up with some kind of Mind Stone or maybe they create a new vision, which we'll talk about in another video. That could be like their Mind Stone type thing. And don't forget what they showed in Civil War with that whole um, like augmented reality thing where like he's in, in his memories or whatever and can do that. Technically, that's reality. Um, so who knows what kind of devices that we might end up getting. So it, that just kind of popped in my head now, but maybe that's how they'll fight Thanos. Maybe they're kind of going to come up with their own um, Infinity Stones or something like that. Uh, but that would all be thought up by Tony Stark himself because really there's he, he's really the only smart person other than uh, Bruce Banner, but Tony Stark's, I think, a little bit smarter, um, left uh, on the planet. And so when it comes down to it, um, with it being basically Tony Stark that's going to lead the way in order to beat Thanos for four, and like we said, like clearly a reason why um, he was left alive and, and all part of really the overall plan, do you think it's going to end up costing him his life by the end of four, that he would die, but Thanos would also lose? I think it makes sense, kind of. But see, after seeing the end of this movie, I don't, even though I kind of expected everybody or for the most part, everybody to die. I expected actually everybody to die. I didn't expect half of everybody to die. But I, I kind of think that Tony Stark being the one who kind of is like a sacrifice in order for the win to happen, um, I think that makes sense. I, I do think that makes sense. So, uh, you know, if there's another way, we'll see. But I don't quite think, I don't think there is another way. All right, so let us know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Is Tony Stark really the key to beating Thanos? How do you think they will end up beating Thanos in Avengers 4? I'm sure we'll be talking about that uh, as we get closer and into even next year and once we get very close to Avengers 4. But let us know what you guys think of this topic. Anything you want to talk about spoiler-related, go right ahead. And we're going to be having a couple more videos, a one a day really over the next couple days, talking about the spoiler aspects of Avengers Infinity War, but also talking about what we think is going to happen in Avengers 4 and how it all connects. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you for tomorrow's video.